Hello everyone. At conception or fertilization, the fusion of the gametes from each parent produces a new biological individual, a cell with a completely new genetic identity. From the beginning, the embryonic human exists within a network of relationships as the offspring of a mother and a father and as the gift of God the Creator. Each embryo is a living being possessing the dynamic potential to develop first inside the womb and then outside. The qualities we think of as being more distinctively human do not show themselves until much later in life. Babies are human beings before they can walk and talk, even though many of their abilities have not yet become fully apparent. With an embryo, we are considering the very earliest stages of human development, but the principle is the same. The human embryo should therefore be regarded as not a potential human being, as some made out, but a human being with potential. In many different places and using many different images, the scriptures bear witness to the involvement of God in the origin of each human being in the womb. God creates our inmost being, knits us together in our mother's womb. The scriptures show God calling, naming and setting apart those he has chosen while even still in the womb. Jacob in the womb of Rebekah, Samuel in the womb of Hannah, John the Baptist in the womb of Elizabeth. When Mary was told that she would conceive and bear the Son of the Most High, she went in haste to visit her, visit her cousin Elizabeth. There she was greeted as the mother of the Lord for nine months. The Lord dwelt in the womb of the Virgin Mary. From the first century, Christians have recognised the human being that God is forming in the womb as sacred and inviolable. The Church's stance has remained unchanged throughout the centuries. Any attack on the embryo, however young, has always been regarded as a very serious sin against God, the author of life. Pope St. John Paul II has reiterated the teaching that the human being is to be respected and treated as a person from the moment of conception. Some people cast doubt on the status of the human embryo because in the normal course of events many embryos fail to implant and are lost. The existence of spontaneous embryo loss should not lead us to the conclusion that healthy embryos are also expendable. A more perplexing question has been raised about the status of the embryo in relation to identical twins. Occasionally a human embryo will divide within the first days of development and produce twins. Nevertheless, there is no contradiction here. If one human embryo gives rise to two human embryos, this is an instance of one living being giving rise to two living beings, something not unknown elsewhere in nature. The process of twinning does not contradict the fact that the human embryo is human. Here are some questions for you to consider. Question 1. Is the embryo a potential human being, as some make out? Or, as the Church says, a human being with potential. Question 2. Are the young more open to the pro-life message than the two immediate previous generations? Question 3. Is the emphasis on fertility control being bombarded at the young in secondary schools engendering a negative impact towards fertility in general and family life in particular. Question 4. God infuses the person with a soul at the moment of conception. What does this mean to you? Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all.